Finally, on the uh, technology front, uh, some have su suggested that government, not just the provincial government, the federal government, all governments are about 30 years behind in, in technology and, uh, and allowing businesses to, uh, uh, to work in the technology frame so that they, they can eliminate paper and, and, uh, and deal online. Of course, you can, uh, you can blame the previous 15 years on another government, but prior to that, uh, you know, your own government has to take some responsibility as well. That's the past. Uh, what can we expect from, uh, from this government going forward? How, uh, what's the plan in order to uh, help businesses be able to deal online and better the technology that we have uh, today in order for businesses to make it easier for businesses to deal online? Yeah, so modernizing government is in my mandate. It's mm -hmm. uh, in Bill Walker's mandate, our Minister of Government and Consumer Services, Peter Bethlen Falvey, our President of the Treasury Board. It's in his mandate as well to make sure that we're modernizing government in the way that government does business with business um, and, uh, and moving government uh, to an online tech type tech-based type of uh, environment. So uh, they're working on the procurement process. We don't have to reinvent the wheel here. There are a lot of programs that are currently out there and available to us. They've been uh, invented by entrepreneurs in, in Waterloo or Toronto or, or Ottawa or big tech hubs that we have. The procurement process has been the barrier to them doing business with the Ontario government and helping us modernize government. They have to go uh, to some U.S. state to get the contract and, and help them modernize their government, right. but they can't get in uh, at the ground level with us. You know, my previous uh, portfolio in government and consumer services, uh, one of my deputy ministers was Ontario's chief digital officer. Her name is Hillary Hartley, and, and she leads the Ontario Digital Services Office, where we're trying to transition from paper to technology and uh, and she has an outstanding team that's doing that but I think and she understands this as well her team can't do everything uh, there's the there's there's the entrepreneurial tech sector that's out there ready to help us out and make sure that we're modernizing government at the end of the day it's taking far too long for businesses to get their permitting that they need their certificates uh, here, here's the example that I love to tell um, you know we've been fighting hard for our auto manufacturers over the last uh, several months and trying to ensure that they can remain as competitive as possible uh, here in Ontario we're producing over two million dollar uh, two million dollars two million vehicles a year uh, with the five major automakers that are currently located in Ontario um, but at the same time we've been seeing automakers locating new uh, industry and new facilities uh, in the United States particularly in the southern United States but uh, it's, it's quite discouraging when you see uh, FCA Fiat Chrysler uh, locate a new facility just across the Detroit River uh, from Windsor <laughs> in Detroit uh, four and a half billion dollar investment and when you talk to them and you ask them why they did that they say because they promised us we could get the permitting in 60 days for that facility yeah. where that type of permit here in Ontario was taking over three years so that's an enormous cost of doing business lost revenue uh, for the province um, so that's why we're so focused in our auto plan that we released earlier this year and it's not just about auto it's about industry making sure that we're closing the gap, working with business so they can get the permitting that they need in a timely fashion, create good jobs and make sure our economy is ticking at full yeah. speed. And we, and we know that the, the companies like Fiat and, and Chrysler and Ford and GM, they don't make those decisions, like they make the decision now and next month they're moving. Right. These things are done years in advance, so it's incumbent upon your government now to make sure that we don't lose any of those large manufacturers uh, in the years to come.